I feel like something's missing. <gasps> Much better. So many people are afraid to make YouTube videos because they're afraid they're going to get mean comments. And they will. In fact, we've gotten some doozies on our real estate channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you some of the meanest comments we have ever gotten on the Georgia Coast Tomes channel. And I'm opening it up to the entire team. Altavis, Nicole, Kimberly, Holly, Kim Oh, they're all about me? Cool. So grab yourself a bucket of popcorn and settle in because my friends, these are gonna be good. I'm kind of glad YouTube got rid of the thumbs down button so you can't see exactly how many thumbs down I've gotten over the years. Ah, uh, this oh so helpful comment from Brian is a classic example, but hey Brian, every time you comment, it helps the algorithm show my videos to more people. So I really appreciate you helping me show my videos to you even more often. That was awesome. Now, this one really cracks me up because I was not on camera for the video. The video where she commented was a neighborhood tour where I had put my phone on the dashboard and I was filming out through my windshield of a neighborhood. I was driving around the neighborhood. I was not on camera. So the fact that she commented on my hair really makes me laugh. Like, you've got a great imagination. Yeah, in that video, I just burst into song in the middle. Summertime and the living is easy. <laughs> Apparently not everyone loves a good musical number in the middle of a real estate video. <laughs> Go figure. Now, this is actually a pretty typical comment. This one is not about me specifically. It's about one of the towns that I was highlighting in a video. And this happens all the time. So how do you respond? Well, you got a couple of different options. You can just delete it. But, you know, I really believe in freedom of speech. And if somebody feels that way, let them express their views as long as they are not extremely offensive where they are using racial slurs or calling people names or anything like that. So rarely do I delete these comments. I just leave them up there. But I also don't respond because back early on in my channel, I would respond. And then what would they do? They would respond. And then I would respond and they would respond. And then all we do is bring more attention to this one negative comment. So now I operate from the motto of don't feed the trolls. So I left his comment up there, even though Cool Gamer is clearly wrong. And along those lines, a lot of people had stuff to say about the city of Pooler, specifically the chief of police. They seem to not like the chief of police very much. Now, Nicole was absolutely adorable in this video, so I know they are not criticizing her, which is a good thing because I'd have to go all mama bear on them if they did. I love it when they critique your opinion because it's your opinion, but clearly their opinion is right and your opinion is wrong. And so... There's so many people on the internet that just seem to have nothing better to do than sit around and criticize people on YouTube videos. I'm like, bless you for having so much free time that this is like the way that you entertain yourself on a daily basis. It must be awesome to be you. Oh, yay! Another one that's not about me for a change. It's so funny because Altavis moved here and she loves Georgia. But Georgia and New York City are very, very different. And so she makes a lot of videos where she highlights the difference between the two places because we get a lot of New Yorkers who move to Georgia. So it's kind of like, hey, just want to let you know what it's going to be like when you get here. We don't have bodegas. Like if you love yourself a good bodega, you're going to be in for a world of hurt when you move to Atlanta. We ain't got no bodegas. But we get a lot of comments from the Southerners who live here. They are very protective of their area, living in the South. They don't want these outsiders coming here and ruining what we got going on in the South. So they love to jump in and just attack us Yankees who have relocated here. It's pretty funny. Oh, cool. I'm apparently very knowledgeable. I I'll take it, I guess. Yes, omelet and pan. It may come as a surprise to you to learn that people actually have to earn a living. And we do that by marketing ourselves and our businesses. Would you prefer that I just call you once a week asking if you want to buy or sell a house? I could totally do that. Like I could do that if you wanted it to. Here's a nice one from Waza722. 
I'm going to assume that's a typo because what's the go with the audio? I don't really understand what that means, but I know that in this particular video, I did have some audio issues and I tried to salvage it and post it anyway, but yeah, the audio was not good. But this is actually a really good learning experience because I have found that people are pretty tolerant of not really great video quality, but they do not tolerate poor audio. So if you find yourself getting a lot of comments like this, it means you got to go out and buy yourself a microphone and learn how to use said microphone and make sure said microphone is charged up before you go to your location and start filming a video. Ouch, this one hurts. This one was seven reasons not to move to Savannah. And he said, number one reason, you. <laughs> awesome. Oh, you are so good for my ego. Thank you, sir. But just remember that for every negative comment you get, you're going to get 20 or 30 positive comments on your channel. So we just have to remember that the good outweigh the bad. And here are some of the wonderful comments that I've gotten over the years. In fact, this one from Donna Yanakino, whose name I said incorrectly for about a year and a half, sorry, Donna, is now a fine member on my team. She relocated from New York to Hilton Head, asked us to help represent her when she bought a house, decided she loved it so much she was going to move here, got a real estate license and joined my team. So you never know what will happen when you start making wonderful YouTube videos. If you are still on the fence about making videos to attract buyers and sellers to your real estate business, I've got a five day challenge coming up in a few weeks. It's completely free. You totally need to come join us in this challenge. I will get you off the fence and get you making some videos. See you on the challenge.